Hi guys and welcome to our Teach Us This YouTube live series. Uh, first of all I just want to thank you all for coming along. Um, I know we're in such a strange time um, but I do appreciate everyone taking some time out of the day to spend it with me. So first of all uh, this is our Teach Us This series. Now in this series I'm going to be going over quite a few uh, functions and features of SmartSuite, uh, all of which have been requested by uh, our users. Um, this week and next week, I'm covering customizing your SmartSuite pages. Okay, so um, in this episode, I'm going over understanding the page settings, setting page defaults, uh, moving and resizing your widgets, as well as editing your shortcuts bar. Alrighty, so first of all, let's jump in and have a look at what we got. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on my home page. This is my test site. Um, so my home page is made up of uh, these three widgets. Okay, so my welcome to the library, my let's get reading, and my um, quick TV thread search uh, buttons there. Okay. Now, each page has its own page settings. And what I mean by that is if I make some changes uh, to my home page, okay, um, they will not reflect on pages like my school's collection or my items and stuff like that. Okay, so each page has its own settings. Um, and if you're wanting to um, change the background, for example, on all pages, um, let us know so we can do that in bulk for you or if you only want it on you know your home page or your school's collection page you'll just have to do them one by one okay so let's jump into our settings up in your menu you will see page settings okay right under your name or whoever you whoever is logged in um, you'll see this button when I click on it automatically changes my page okay so my widgets which were my library hours TV thread and the book search have all changed to these three boxes okay so you can see each widget has its own color okay that allows you to see where a widget starts and where it ends okay and that helps with resizing and moving them around the page okay and you'll see each widget has some information there. Okay, so this is telling me that the widget is a pinup viewer. Okay, and the information on this uh, pinup is the welcome and hours. Okay, and that's the same for each widget. Okay, so that just helps identify what that widget is so that you can edit the correct one. All right, so we've got two buttons here cogs and a bin. The bin deletes the widget from the page and the cogs allow you to go to the uh, settings for that widget. Okay, and I'll get into our settings in our next episode. Um, so stay tuned for more information on pinups. You have a hand down on the left hand corner. Okay, that's on every widget. If I scroll down, you'll see one there. And some arrows. Okay, so what these allow me to do and scroll down is if I drag the arrows it adjusts the size of my widget okay and it will snap to an invisible grid okay and the hand allows me to move the position of that widget okay so I can have it close I can drag this one along okay, so we have a tight knit of widgets there all right, or I could drag them all apart if I wanted to. Okay, so I strongly urge you guys jump into your page settings and have a play um, with uh, maneuvering your widgets around. Um, and once you've set them, if you like, you can preview what it will look like. Okay, and you'll do that by clicking this button up in the shortcuts bar preview. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. If I want to go back, I'll just go back to my page settings. 
and then I can continue to adjust their positions if I wanted to. Okay, I can hit preview again. Okay, that's more centered. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'll go back to my page settings. Okay, and then I can save that. Okay, just to ask me if I want to refresh the page. I do, it'll refresh and it'll show me my change. Okay, so that's uh, just a quick little overview of adjusting your widget positions and sizes. Okay, I'll jump back into this bar first. So this is our shortcuts bar. Okay, now the shortcuts bar again is um, different on every single page. Okay, so from my home page, this is what my shortcuts bar looks like. If I wanted to remove some of these options or change them, okay, I can. And I'll show you how that's done now. So again, from your menu, you want to jump back to page settings. Okay, and then you have your configure shortcuts button. So you'll notice that this is all changed. Yep. All right, so we'll hit configure shortcuts. All right, and then it'll show the current shortcuts that are saved on my home page. I can go down, I can have a look at ones that I don't want. So patron profile, if I didn't want that appearing, I can hit the bin okay, and it removes it. My project, which is my items. Okay, you can see here the display name. I'll keep that there. TV for education, I'll keep that there. The search page, I'll keep that there. Now the home page, I'm already on the home page, so I don't want there to be a button for the home page. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, so now I've just got these options here. And then the last one is always a blank one. Okay, and that's where you'll create your own shortcut. Okay, now what you have to select from is a list of pages within SmartSuite. If I click on the drop down arrow, okay, I have the option to add any of these pages as a shortcut. Okay, you can see we've got some custom pages here. Okay, so if I wanted, for example, to have a global catalog as an option that I can quickly jump to from the home page. And I can select global, global catalog. I can enter the display name. Global cat. Hover over description. Okay, and it just means when I hover over the button, it'll tell me where it goes. Okay, and then my min security role. Now this is a very important option. Set to public, that simply means anyone that loads up your page will be able to view that button and go to wherever it goes to. Obviously, if they don't have permission to the catalog functions, it'll just tell them they don't have permission, okay? But you just wanna make sure that you set this to whatever it is that you want. Okay, so public, as I said before, that's anyone that views your page whether they're logged in or not. Now, logged in user means it'll, that button will only appear once a user has logged in. Okay, then you have self-circulation, circulation desk. These are different levels of permission. Teacher, cataloger, patron editor, the librarian, and administrator. Okay, so I would normally only set this as librarian because okay, librarians are the only ones that normally go uh, global catalog items. So I'm going to set mine as librarian and then I'm going to hit add new. Okay, you can see now it's just popped up here. Global catalog, global cat, takes you to the global catalog. Okay, the other thing you can do is add any URL. Okay, so if you wanted a link to your school's newsletter page, okay, if your school has their own website with a tab to go to the newsletters, you can put that uh, URL in here, 
Okay, for example, I'll just do Google. Display name will be Google. Hover over, hover over description. Okay, and I want it left as public. Okay, so I'll hit add new. And then once I've done editing everything, I'm going to hit save down the bottom here. Okay, my quick menu is saved. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hit save up here. And that will just refresh the page for me. And I'll be able to see my changes. So now you can see I have my global cat button here and my Google button there. Okay, if I click on that, it takes me to Google, I can go back. If I click on global cat, it takes me straight to the global catalog page. Okay, so that is how you edit your shortcuts bar from your home page. All right. Now, what I'll show you is editing the page itself. So your background, for example, and again, in your page settings, we're looking for our page builder. And that's the second button here. Okay, so this allows you to add multiple uh, different widgets to your page. Okay, and if you just hover over these arrows, okay, it'll scroll through the available widgets you can select from. Okay, pinup viewer is the main one that we'll be playing with in the next episode. Okay, but I'll, I'll wait till then to go through that. Um, but you can definitely have a play and add different items to your pages. Okay, and if you get too carried away and you want to reset it back to normal, you have this restore default button here. Okay, if you click that, it'll just take it back to the default, which is what you get when you get installed, which is pretty much how you see my page now. Okay, if I go back to Page Builder, okay, you see there's a few options to select from on the left-hand side. Okay, your widget search will allow you to search a widget, um, widget category. Okay, you can go, I just want to see the search widgets or I just want to see the catalog widgets. Okay, so you can go through those. Your page name, okay, that um, for existing pages uh, does not need to be edited, but when you create your own uh, page, um, which I'll go through in episode two, you can edit the page name if you want. Okay, so your UI theme. Okay, by default, it's set to Smart Library. Now the theme will change a few things. Okay, your button color, for example, um, font color, things like that. So you can go through and play with these if you like. Um, once you change, you'll see that my appended page button has uh, changed color as well as my um, save and delete buttons there. Okay, so by all means, go through and have a play. Find the colors you like. Now this background option here. Okay, we have quite a few of um, pre-uploaded backgrounds that you can have a look at. All you have to do is click on it and you'll see it changes in the background. If you want a clean view, you'll just have to hit save so that it goes back to the normal page. Um, but you can see in the background what it will look like as you go through and select different options. Okay, you do have the option to upload your own backgrounds. Okay, you'll see this button here. If you click that, okay, it will then allow you to upload your own um, background image. Okay, and then when you're looking for that, it'll always be at the bottom. All right. Um, you can remove your search bar which is located at the top just at the background there if i say no and when i hit save that search bar will be gone okay that's just located at the back there um, you can set uh, set where you want 
um, your menu selection to be. So for example, um, you want to change where you want your page to be. Okay, you can set in the menu group where you would like it to appear. Okay, so you have that option there as well. You can also remove it from the menu by clicking that. Okay, and then it won't appear in the menu at all. But we like it there. And then you have this option here, which is your security, which works the exact same way that the uh, shortcuts bar security works. If it's set to public, anyone who logs in or accesses your site, sorry, can uh, view this page. If it's set to login user, it means if they come to your site um, and this is your home page, for example, it'll request them to log in first. Okay, and then you have your other options down here. So, for example, if you wanted to create a page for teachers only, you can set a security for teacher on that and your students won't be able to view that page. Okay. And then you have your save, delete, and new. So you can create a new page if you wish. All right, so I'm just going to hit save. Okay, and this is my new home page with its, its new uploaded background behind there. Alrighty. So I know that's just a short little video, but I don't want to overload you too much. Um, I do want you guys to have a play, um, create some shortcuts, um, move around your widgets, um, and next week we'll go over editing your widgets, so your pinups, sorry. So for example, that welcome to the library, I'll walk you through changing the times or, um, or creating something totally different to put in here, okay, as well as even if you wanted to um, add extra buttons to your let's get reading section. Okay, so you wanted maybe a, a romance button, you can add another button, romance, and I'll link you straight to the search as does these current buttons. Okay. Um, tomorrow I'm also running a uh, Smart Suite version 3 series. Okay, so it'll be every Thursday. Um, and I'm just going to be going over the new features and functions within Smart Suite uh, version 3. So if you haven't upgraded and you would like to see a little bit of um, what version 3 is all about, definitely um, register and uh, jump in and, and join us on that session tomorrow. Um, if you already have version 3, please jump in. Um, you might pick up some information or steps that uh, you haven't tried yet, um, but I'll only be going over Global Catalog tomorrow, um, and then next week I'll be covering a different feature of version 3. Alright, so thanks very much guys for joining in. Um, I really, really hope you're all doing well throughout this, uh, this time. Um, just remember that we're always here, so if you have any questions or you need to uh, give us a call, uh, go for it. We're waiting um, for any anything you guys can bring towards us. Um, just so you know, I do have uh, the team waiting in the chat if you have any questions um, about customizing your pages, uh, jump in, ask us anything. Um, we'll wait until no one asks any more questions um, and then we'll see you in the mailbox. All right, thanks guys.